Hi everyone! So today I'm gonna show you how to make tortellini. We have this one and this one. They differ only slightly at the end. So for this we will need a sand colored yarn and mine is number three so light worsted, a bit of stuffing, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, a needle to fast it off, and I use scrap yarn instead of markers. As I said, they only differ a bit at the end, so I will let you know where we are at that point. Also, you can crochet in the round, and this was done in the round, or you can crochet continuously in a spiral, like this one. So that doesn't make any difference. Just use your preferred method. And we'll start by doing a magic circle. We take our yarn, and we loop it twice around our fingers. We take our needle, we go under the first one and we pull the second one, we twist it around, we go under the second loop and at this point I like to just press it down, take my fingers out and uh, hold it like this and we pull this loop through the first one. And there we go, we have a magic circle. So round one is doing six single crochets in this magic circle. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. If you're a beginner, you should always count. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. I'm going to do this one in a continuous spiral. So I just slide my hook. This is where I pull the magic circle tight. And we close it off. Now that it's kind of secure, we can pull out. Okay, so we can put our scrap yarn as a marker. And we continue on to the second round, which is doing six increases. Increases simply means two single crochets in one space. So one and a second one. Again, one single crochet and a second single crochet. And that's what we do all the way around. So here is the third one. So we have the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Our third round is a single crochet and then an increase times six. The total needs to be 18. So we start with a single crochet and then we do an increase. And then a single crochet and then an increase which again simply means two single crochets in one space. And here we are at the end of this round. So it's always good to check and just count how many stitches you have from here to here. You're already on round number four out of six. So yet again, we put our marker and for this round, it's two single crochets and then an increase. So for a total of 24. If I continue to crochet putting the single stitches first and then the increase, 
we'll go and create a hexagon. So we do want this to be as round as possible. So this time I will start with simply one single crochet and then an increase and then another single crochet. And this is once. We need to do this six more times. So again, one single crochet, an increase, and another single crochet. And with this we start our fifth round, which is three single crochets and then an increase. But yet again I'm going to switch it to single crochet, an increase and two single crochets. So one single crochet, an increase, another single crochet and a third single crochet. And again one single crochet, an increase, one single crochet and another single crochet. One single crochet, an increase, another single crochet and another single crochet. And here we are, take out the marker. At this point we can actually secure our magic circle a bit more which we do with a needle and we simply take the needle and go around the first round And that is how our magic circle is secured. So we can cut this or we can leave it as is because it won't be visible. So now that the magic circle is secured we're going to turn around our crochet, going to put this inside and we're going to fold it in half. And with this we are at round number six and the last one. So this is where the two tortellini differ. It is in this round six. This one is going with a half double crochet and double crochet and this is going with double crochet and half treble crochet. I'm going to show you both and then you can decide which one you want. Let's start with this one. Half double crochet is we yarn over, we go through two uh, crochet spaces and we pull out a loop, we yarn over again and we go through all three loops and again we yarn over, we go through two crochet spaces, the front and the back, we pull out a loop and we go to all three. And we do it once again. So yarn over through both spaces and pull through everything. Next we go, we yarn over, pull through both spaces pull through all three loops, we yarn over, we go through the same two spaces, we yarn over, we go through two loops, we yarn over and we go through two. So this is a double crochet and the first one was half double crochet in the same space. 
So for this one, we are going to do six more two double crochet in the same crochet space. So like this. One. Two. And that is one. Again. One. Two. And that is two. One. Two. We have three. One. Two. We have four. One. Two. We have five. One. Two. We have six. And then we continue on with one double crochet in this crochet space. And then half a double crochet in the same space. And then we continue on with three half crochets at the end. However, this is the time where I would recommend to fill it. And now we finish it with three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. And with that, all the crocheting is done. So now we just need to cut the yarn, sew the two ends together. However, before I do that, I will show you how to do this one with the longer one. So I'm just gonna show you the last bits. So for this one, everything we've done with half double crochet, we do with double crochet, and everything we've done with double crochet, we do it with half treble crochet. And this is half treble crochet. We yarn over twice, we go through the spaces, we pull out a loop, we pull through two loops, and then we pull through all three. Again, we yarn over twice, we go through both spaces, we pull through a loop, we go through two loops, and we go through all three. So this is a half treble crochet. We continue on until we have four spaces left. One is with one half treble crochet and one double crochet in one space and the three remaining ones are a double crochet in a single space. So three double crochets. And there we have it. So now we need to cut the yarn and Pull it out. I do suggest we kind of guide it a bit towards the end. And we shape it as we want it. So we decide up top. And that's how we sew it. So we go to a deer here. And we sew it a few times just to be sure. After we are satisfied with how it looks, we can just secure it. And we can cut this off as well. And there we have a tortellini. Well, now there are three. And that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!